dad and his uncle, they can't jump anymore. <laughs> yeah, the knees are shot. Those are both freshmen, by the way, involved in that play. Pondexter this time looks to dump it inside. And Washington forced to set their offense outside. That's Appleby, the best shooter in the building. Ryan Appleby. Well, that's a bad news when he hits out there because he can be real cold, but when he gets it going, he just keeps backing up and uh, can make them in bunches. Got 25 threes on the air. He shoots about 39, 40%. Seems like he's real streaky, though. He's either making him or yes. missing him. It's not like he just two out of five consistently. And Appleby is a guy that was in the starting lineup at the beginning of this season and actually gave that spot up so Adrian Oliver could get more minutes. Inside Nick Young, couldn't finish. Pondexter to Appleby. Wanted to go back to back. Green's got himself caught in the air. Shooters should never think. <laughs> Time out on the floor. 15 23 to go. I want to drive to the basket, and I, I probably wouldn't have driven like I did, so <laughs> I, I'm glad. No, I, I don't think that anybody's worried about Gabe Pruitt uh, not scoring anymore. He, he's, he's a first team All Pac 10 player, playing against, against a bunch of freshmen and sophomores, and I, I look to him to, to really have a big impact on this game. Yeah, the SC coaches said that when he did come back from his suspension, that he uh, he was forcing things a little bit, trying to do a little too much too fast. Stewart drives, looks for the dish, ball was knocked away, and saved by Pruitt. Well, he should have shot that one, but now he's got, got the shot clock going against him. He could have had a little rhythm, he's thinking too much. Inside Taj Gibson, double team, but still never brought the ball below his shoulders and turns and scores. Well, he's two for nine now. That's the uh, same thing that uh, Washington is. Keith Wilkinson in there for SC in the middle. Wilkinson battling for that rebound, but Stewart gets it again, his second rebound of the game. Leave Young alone at the top. Pruitt with the pull up and left alone is Gibson. Yeah, Pruitt went by Appleby like he was standing still, and uh, Brockton had to come over and left Gibson underneath. Quickly the other way, Oliver pulls up as he's cut off by Wilkinson at the base. Pruitt got a hand on it, Pondexter able to control. Exactly the start that SC wanted and needed to stay in this game. They slow down this Husky attack average, 88 points a game. Pondexter, over the top of the screen, middle and is fouled. Lodrick Stewart on the reach. He's yeah, a little surprised. Lodrick didn't like the call, but he, he, he hit him and uh, didn't need to. Here comes the play. See the end of it when uh, Pruitt drew the defense to him and got an easy dunk for Taj Gibson. Quincy Pondexter at the line. We talked about him a little bit. They call him Coupon. 6'6 freshman from Fresno. He put on a great high school team. San Joaquin Memorial on that team. Also the seven foot twins, Brooke and Robin Lopez, who are now at Stanford. That's a pretty good high school lineup right there, those three guys. Yeah, not bad. I, uh, did they lose any, Jim? They lost a couple of games. They actually didn't win the state title. Makes both free throws. And then the game for the Huskies, number 44, Phil Nelson. And Phil Nelson now comes in, another freshman for Washington. Lorenzo Romar used his bench. I think everybody's been out of the game already. He rotates a lot of guys through. Stewart and Young at the top for SC. Threw it down on a wing. Taj Gibson and Wilkinson, the other two. Wilkinson looks for help. Shot clock is still at 15, plenty of time. Pruitt got caught in the air and bumped by Appleby. You know, Pruitt Appleby. is, is he? He is hesitating a little bit. I mean, he had, I thought he should have taken a wide open three after a rebound with the, the shot clock running down. And then there, you know, when you could drive all the way to the basket, you got to shoot the ball. Don't just jump up in the air and look for somebody to pass to. He, he really doesn't quite have his, um, his game speed decision making uh, going yet. Yeah, the game seems to be going a little bit faster than, uh, than he is right now. He's still thinking about things a little bit. You feel like he's pressing? Yeah, I, I don't think he's playing with confidence. He, he knows he's a good player, but uh, I think he's second-guessing his decisions. Here's Young for three. Oh. A bump underneath. Wilkinson had position. He left the floor. He had his legs taken out. And the foul, I think, is going to be on Artem Wallace of Washington. And by the way, we've been talking a lot about Spencer Haas leading up to this game, and I don't know if I've called his name once since we've started. The seven footer, number 10 in purple underneath. 
New shot clock for SC. Stewart, who by the way grew up in Seattle, but most of his high school connections are gone. They're long gone off this Washington team. He used to know all those guys. He, Will Conroy and Brandon Roy and Nate Robinson. He knew all those guys. Yeah, there was some fantastic uh, talent uh, in, in that Seattle area with, with the Stewart twins and uh, Brandon Roy and all, all those guys. They, they, they uh, I don't know what they do up there. They uh, an inordinate number of uh, really good players, even going back to, uh, to Dickerson and uh, Jason Turner. Doug Christie. That's right. And those guys went to, went to Franklin High School, went to Rainier Beach. O'Day, of course, is a great school. Spencer Haas went to S Seattle Prep. Yeah, there's some great high school basketball in the Northwest. Now, I see hanging right with them. One point lead for the home folks. Wallace at the top left completely alone. I don't think SC would have minded if Wallace took that shot. Yeah. Nelson now. Washington just doesn't look like they are able to get into their offense as Appleby is always looking to pull the trigger. Dentman, that's a three. And it's much too long and Stewart another rebound. Rebound by it. committee. Cracking back, that was a nice play by Stewart. All on the glass, there we it. go, he pulled up. In and out, but it looked much better. Yeah, he looked like he shot that as he did it. And a chance at a three-point play and his second dunk of the night. I'm telling you, if you're watching in the Northwest, you're going to remember Taj Gibson. This kid has been outstanding since he got here. Yeah, in a spread, spread out wide open game, a guy that loves to get offensive rebounds like Taj gets a free run at the boards a lot of times. So he's always around there. He's got good hands, and uh, we've seen this a lot so far this year. We'll see it a lot more. 11 of 13 games this year for Taj Gibson in double figures. Some guys just know how to rebound. They keep their feet moving and they, they, they pursue the ball. And, uh, and when they're combined with a long enough and uh, good enough jumper like Taj, that's how you get a lot of rebounds. There's Appleby, his second three-pointer. Three he had 70 of those last year, the third most in UW history. Now, that wasn't bad defense there. And he, he caught it on the run and shot it fading away from several feet behind the line. You just got to say, nice shot, Ryan, when he makes those. Knocked away, Dentman got a piece of it. Dentman, he can collect, he's got an easy two. So a five point run for Washington. And the Huskies back in front. Again, SC with that deliberate style. As Pruitt, Crab walks it into the front court. Dentman playing him tough, 40 feet straight out. Stewart going baseline, trap, look for help. Pruitt inside. He's on the board. Oh, the, air. <laughs> the lid is off, Jim. <laughs> off the schneid. He's, he's in the book. Now he's dangerous because he is a scorer. Dwight Lewis will be in for SC when it's dead. Taj Gibson collects that rebound, and here come the Trojans again. They are playing a very good first 10 minutes. And he's got Brockman on him. I used to just get out of the way and let him go. Brockman can't guard Pruitt. Brockman's 6'7", he's 25 feet away from the basket. You go right around him, just like that. Brockman trying to catch up late. The dish inside was late. 